Hello. Wow, you see word. Why? Because I want to show you a question before I answer it via Microsoft Project. So, one of my blog watchers asked me, when I assign a task to fixed duration with effort-driven, I see that project has calculated some of these resources to work 50 or 33%. How does then work, uh, that work then? I had a five days work with four resources. So for, after calculating, they still work for, uh, uh, for five days, still with four resources, but of course less work. Thing is, I get two of those resources working 100 and one of, uh, with 50, and then the other with 33. I cannot for the life of me work out why would project calculate that uh, when all resources are 100%. Now let's go to the project. As you can see, I have task with five days duration and I'm in task usage. I, go, I will go to resource sheet and you will see that I have John, Mary, Peter and Paula, which are all 100% maximum available. Let's go back to task usage view. And let's go to view tab and then to details. And I will get task form. Let me move it up. And let me right click here and say I want to see work. Now you will see that my task is five days duration, effort driven, like my reader said, or watcher, and it is fixed duration. First of all, I will add all resources at once. At once. John, Mary, Peter, and last but not least, our Paula. And I will click on OK. You will see all of them are going to work 100% and 40 hours, five days multiplied by eight hours per day, multiplied by 100, 100%. This is shown here. Okay, let me go here. Let me show you here. Okay, and see the peak? Peak is introduced uh, uh, since, I think, Microsoft Project 2010. So, peak is here 100%. I will explain it. Now, let me go back. And let me remove all of them, okay? Now, let me add one by one. First, John. Okay, John should work on fixed duration task, and it is calculated five days, multiple by 100 units. It's five, multiple by eight, 40 hours. Great. Now, since it is effort-driven task, when you additionally add, not at once, additionally add, for example, Mary, Mary will split his, her work between him, uh, her, and John. So I will click on OK. As you can see, Mary is going to work 20 hours. John is going to work 20 hours. But units are 100%. Forget about units. Let me go to Word and let me... Now, read, put the formula, which says work is duration multiple by peak units. Okay? Here it is. Let me put it. Let me. Okay. Peak units. Peak units. Peak units. Did I say peak units? Peak units. What is peak units? Let me finish my example and I will show you at the end. Now let's add Paul, Peter. Now Peter will split the total amount of hours, 40 hours, among them, which is 13.33, which means that they are going to work five days. Why? Because it's fixed duration, 2.33. 67 hours per day, and it has units 50%, okay? Now, let's add Paula, and you will see exact what my blog reader got. 
But let me remove Paula. Sorry, sorry. You will see 33% here. And when I add Paula, it's 25%. So forget about units. Peak units is how much in units is resource, particular resource, going to work on particular task. So yes, this is confusing, but the magic formula is, okay, duration, okay, let's go back to work. Okay, work is duration, multiple by peak units. If I go here, peak units is 25%. So work is five days, okay, which is, one day is eight hours, okay, which lead us eight hours per day, which lead us to 40 hours, multiple by 25%. So work is Five days multiplied by eight hours multiplied by 25%. Let's go here. If you don't believe me, let's go here. Pa five multiplied by eight is 40. Multiple by 25% is 10 hours. Exactly how much my resources are going to work. So when you have your tasks, and when you want to know how much, uh, uh, what is the units which is spent on this particular task for particular resource, always look at the peak units. And that's all you have to know. And yes, this is confusing, but you can disregard that and say, I'm always watching on peak units. Okay? Hope this helps. Thank you very much. Bye.